Well, praise God, praise God, you lovely people on Facebook and on YouTube and to the whole wide world. Well, the world is going through a lot of stuff, but the Bible definitely let me know that I'm in this world, but I'm not of this world. I was just watching the news just this morning. I am tired of the news, and I advise you, watch the news one time and cut it off. Once something happens, they will run it and run it and run it. And that, where, where it affects us, it's in our fear. Our fear is funny because a lot of stuff come on the news that we fear. Bank robberies, robberies, people breaking in cars, home invasions, uh, uh, muggings, uh, um, shootings in, in the malls, shootings in the schools. So when people run that stuff over your mind over and over and over again, your mind do something because your mind do it its job. But what you have to do, you have to get the glory of God in your spirit so your spirit, I, I'm preaching good right now, so your spirit will block all of that chaos from the world. The Bible talks about how much I give you joy, how much I get peace. How do you get that? You don't buy it. You can't get it from the mall. You can't get it from your big new house. You can't get it from your car. You can't even get it from your relationship. You have to ask God to give you peace. And I'm in peace. And I'm telling you, it works. But it's a training that you have to do. That's why the Bible talks about that you have to die. You have to die to this worldly stuff. You notice that all girls got the eyelash, eyelash things now. Everybody get in pattern. Some church girls won't do it and can't do it because you have tapped out of that. That's worldly things. And it, it look, makes them look pretty. I'm not bashing nothing because I got to live my life and you got to live yours. I'm just telling you, don't get caught up in the patterns of this world, especially if you're trying to be a Christian person because you will struggle. I've been there. Let me just tell you a story. Years ago, when I was getting into ministry, I used to get my hair done. Uh, uh, yeah, I did have hair. And and they would curl it up. You know, my wife get her hair done. I'm going to the beauty salon getting my hair done. I got rollers sitting up under the dryer until one day her one of her friends said when uh, pastor cut his hair, he's going to really get anointed. And I'm thinking, I'm not finna cut my hair. You know, she, my wife told me, I'm like, man, Samson had his hair. But then again, I got to thinking, Samson's hair was his strength, but it also was his downfall because Samson was not supposed to be doing the things that he was doing. He was supposed to be using his strength for Jesus Christ. That's a whole nother message. But I'm just saying how you have to be careful about stuff running, running over and over in your mind. Same way that raggly man, that raggly woman. And I'm not bashing nobody. I'm just telling you. And you know who I'm talking about when I say this. Don't leave me out there by myself. We just talking live stuff. And I'm so tired. We can use the Bible. Don't get me wrong. But the Bible don't should not have to make you make sense. You don't need to read nothing to have sense. God gave you enough ability to have sense, right? And wrong. Red light, green light, school, college, education. These are all the things. Getting prepared for your house, getting prepared for your husband or your wife. These are things that you should naturally be doing. Now, when you add the Bible to positive, you can't help but go up. I'm telling you, your health is good. You look good. You feel good. You ain't in no beef. Ain't with no crazy relationship. Excuse me, my puppy. Hey, stop that. Whatever you're doing, stop. Because I know I know that sound. So, another thing. Hey, animals. Oh, my God. We don't even want to talk about them on this show. Here. They, you can't afford no dog no more. You broke. You go to that pet store with $25. No, that's the little biscuits that they, they get. They come in a six. That costs $25. Chain around their neck, $40. You got to get shots. You got to get this shot. Then they add on. You need polo shots. You need rainbow shots. You need worm shots. Come on, people. I remember dogs used to be in the backyard. Their tail was stuck to the ice. And nobody did nothing. Now, anything to make? Oh, I ain't going to get no help right there. Come on. Come on. I'm not saying don't look. I love pets. I ain't tripping. But I ain't tripping. A dog is a dog when we take when we think about it. Watch what the dog do with his mouth. Then you'll know it's a dog. I don't play with dogs like that. They do anything. Awesome pets, don't get me wrong. But not to go there. 
but just as I did, amen. Because we're talking life things. And one thing about Jesus didn't have to quote no scripture. Turn to Matthew, well, he was the scripture. Jesus didn't have to do no, uh, no, uh, a lot of preaching. He was the preacher. Yeah, he didn't have to do no lot of stuff. Jesus Christ knew exactly what he was doing, if that make any sense. So we're doing just like the young people said, we kicking it. They said, turn up. Yeah, it's turn up. I would have said, turn it up. Turn it up, you guys. So, <laughs> come, on, come on. No, it's turn up. So we turn it up today on life things. You know it's time for you to stop letting your seven-year-old girl hold your little baby. Your baby only uh, nine weeks. You have to get a car seat. Come on, sweetie. Come on. The little baby that's holding the baby grew up in the back seat with the seat belt tied around her. Come on. You got your hair, nails, and feet done 80 times. Buy a car seat. It's going to be winter. Brothers, help your girl out. You know the tires on her car, is, they're so thin you can see the air in them. Help her get some tires. You love her. She's carrying your kids to the daycare. Come on, men. Come on, people. If black lives matter, we should matter about our girls. We should matter about our women. We should matter about how our children is being taken care. If black lives matter, then that means that we got to take care of each other, people. That's all. Brothers, love on them sisters. There's some good sisters. You know, a woman don't have to deal with our nucky herself. We ain't doing nothing. They do R. Kelly come out with a song talking about 12 steps. I don't care if you do 15 steps, 25 steps. That ain't going to make that woman love it. That woman needs some help. She needs some love. She needs you to be there for her. Come on, that old bed stuff, that 20 minutes in there, we ain't doing nothing to no woman. Them women have babies through their body. What are you doing to her? If she don't like you, I don't care what you do. You could do the 12 steps in the 15 program. If she don't like you, bruh, she needs some help. She need Pampers ball. She need winter coats right now. There's boots need to be doing. Get scarves for the baby. Come on. Get a car seat for her. That girl ain't had no car seat since her. She got three children. Ain't never had a car seat. Somebody been holding a baby. You can't do that. You're going to get a ticket or hurt somebody. Come on. It's time for real life. Yeah, I can get on here. Go on, go do it. Come on, shake your neighbor's hand, slap somebody in the face, and tell them that God is a blessing. God ain't finna do nothing for you till you get off your rusty and dusty and make something happen, if that makes sense. I told you, we're gonna just kick it today. Oh, he didn't give no scripture. Why? You don't read the Bible, no way. You just wanna be, you, it's always somebody that say something negative about somebody that's doing something positive. I'm trying to give you nuggets. I don't know when tomorrow go, go, gonna be for me. I ain't worried about tomorrow. I'm feeling good, but sometimes the best time you're feeling is the closest day you to your death. It all depends if the big maker take you. Everybody else been leaving. If they did it, I got to do it. I got to go through it, and you do too. That's why you need to pick right now. Right now while I'm talking. Don't, don't wait till this evening. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till you stop smoking. Don't stop, wait till you stop drinking. I did it all when I was had a crack pipe in my mouth. I gave my life to Christ. Come on, somebody. That's why I'm blessed. Did I have to go through? Did I have to carry my cross? When God said carry your cross, I don't know. I think a lot of people don't know. That means carry whatever you're going through your life. Because every well, you don't know what I'm going through because you ain't never lost this person or th that person. Well, they will. If you got a mother and dad, you're going to lose them, somebody else. If you got a son or a daughter, you could lose them. Come on. We hope you need parents don't never want to lose their children, but sometimes it happens. And the way it is now, the young people is leaving here because you got to understand generation of curses have to be destroyed. He, come on. We act like God won't get rid of you. God get rid of you because he's going to bring you back to where he's going to clean you up for Jesus Christ to clean you up. You go through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ telling that was my faithful servant. And you go to heaven. You go to another place. What if you go back to the place that where you were? You didn't know where you were before you came. So wherever you're going, you don't know. 
My God, that makes sense. Well, I'm going to get off here. It's been long enough, but I just wanted to kick it with you. I wasn't worried about no scripture, but I can give you a scripture if I can find one. I like Luke chapter 21, verse 36. I'm going to just start spending a little bit more time with y'all because here's the thing. We need work. The children right now, I'm going to tell you what time it is. They're not doing the church. I'm going to just tell you that right now. They never heard so much. There's so many people come from church talking about people not changing. What's the use to getting up going to a building when nobody's changing? I'm just telling you. Now, my church is doing really well. We're not back in our church. I can go in there tomorrow if I want to. We're just doing some remodeling in there. But I'm enjoying the fellowship. When we was two years or so, we wasn't hugging. We had the six feet and everybody got masks on. And it feels good to my spirit. And then I know Jesus Christ was at the banquet with the people. Jesus Christ sat with the sinners. Jesus Christ didn't do it from the mic to your pew. I go to Granger, count your money. You go to the hood, still smoke, still drink, still twerk, still lie, still back, bite, still writing bad checks. Don't like your mama. Can't stand your daddy. Whoop your children. And come back, and we do that every Sunday. He said, leave the 99, at least they're in church, and go to the highway, byways, and hedges, and compel them in. And that's what I love about One Lord, One Spirit Outreach Ministry, because we accept you all. We don't see no color. I don't care if you come in there smelling like a bag of weed. I'm going to tell you, if, mm, that's that skunk weed. Yeah, you, you got blow last night. Come on, come on. I'm going to tell you, if you're in there nod, I already know. You shot up last night, but you in there, and you repent right there, uh, wherever you are, and say, Lord, I want to change my life, and get up in there, get with some good people, because it is important to be with people. Okay, Luke chapter 21, verse 36, but stay awake, sleep too much, but stay awake at all times, pray that you may have strength, that you have strength, well, I got to go to work, thank God you got strength. Come on, I got to build a house. I need a new house. I need an apartment. Pray that you have strength because all of that talk right there, if God take your strength, I've seen it. I've buried a lot of people just in the last three months. If God take your strength, you can't lift this coffee cup. I know people been that ill. They can, you know, I, God. We don't have time to complain, people. You better, if you feeling good, can walk, brush your teeth this morning, you better thank God because somebody last night woke up and can't see. Somebody was diagnosed with four-stage cancer yesterday. Have you thought about that, how you would feel this morning if you know you got a bad disease like that? Come on, that's why I tell people, stop saying you're sick. You're not sick. You're not feeling well. Cold is mean you're not feeling well, that you're expecting to get well. When you get cancer or lung disease or Diabetic, you don't know if you're going to live from that stuff. If you don't do proper things to take care of that stuff, you're probably getting ready to leave here. Come on, people. Pray over your body. It says strength to escape all these things that are going to take place and to stand before the Son of Man. You got to do right. All of this stuff that we're talking about, if you get a relationship with Jesus Christ, God himself, I'm not talking about going to the building. Everybody go to the building. But everybody don't come out of there being no Christian. Everybody don't come out of that church, stop cussing. Everybody don't come out of that church to stop drinking. Everybody don't come out of that church to stop twerking and at every club that opens. Everybody don't change. When God get a hold of you to do this walk right, he will kill the desires that you have of that stuff. If you're struggling with that, well, I just got to have a drink. I just got to smoke. I just got it. you not ready for God yet. And you have to kill you so when God do get you, you won't even drink no more. You won't even wear clothes like that no more. You'll be embarrassed if you're tattooed. You'll be embarrassed what you've done. God do something through the Holy Ghost as a keeper. Oh, I could go on and on. I love you all out there. Have a blessed day today. I got to get out of here. But you have to go to that Luke 21, 36. I love it. Stay awake. Be watchful. And ask God to keep your strength so you can keep going on. I love you all. Be blessed.